Hey mini enthusiasts, how are you doing? Welcome back. I hope you're having a great day and I hope you're all well. It's time to get stuck into the new project. We're going to call it Project TARDIS. So it's the Mini Mayfair. We're going to call it Project TARDIS. It was suggested by a few of the subscribers actually. And the reason it's called TARDIS is because it's TARDIS coloured. It was owned by a doctor and it is a bit of a time warp car. So uh, if you don't know the Mini Mayfair Project TARDIS, it's a 1984 Mini Mayfair, so it's 36 years old, and it has only covered 12,000 miles in those 36 years. So it's very, very low mileage. Um, it's not a full restoration project, so it doesn't need completely restoring. It's already in pretty good condition. And one of the reasons I bought it is just because the bodywork and the shell is absolutely fantastic on it. It's never been welded and doesn't need welding, but it does want a bit of TLC. It probably looks better on camera than it is in real life, but yeah, there's just bits and bobs that need doing. Like I say, it's not going to have a full restoration, it's not going to go on a spear, it's not going to be sandblasted or anything like that. We're going to try and keep it as original as possible, go through the car and make it as good as it can be. So we'll be doing bits and bobs as we go along and I'll explain in a moment some of the things that need doing to the car that I know of at the moment. One of those things I didn't mention earlier actually was the suspension cones on the front. They are completely collapsed. It's riding on the bump stops, and that's just because they're original ones, 36 years old. They're just completely, uh, they're not worn out through use, they're worn out through just sitting still. So we need to do that. And just before we get too much into the video, I wanted to do a couple of shout outs and say thank you to some people. So I bought a Mayfair a few months ago, but I'm only starting a project now. Uh, that's because I wanted to do it as a winter project. I didn't want to get stuck into it in the summer. Just because I'm moving cars in and out the garage, I wanted to use Sprout a little bit more. And if you've been following the channel, I've done a bit of work in the garage, put in a ceiling and a loft in the garage. So I've got loads of room up top for storing mini parts, which is really, really handy. But before I get into it, uh, I just wanted to say a couple of shout outs and a big thank you. Uh, first one is Jan van Stralen. Uh, from the Netherlands who I mentioned that I really didn't like the fuel cap on it and it wasn't original and he bought one, didn't need it and he very very kindly uh, sent that over to me free of charge, he paid the postage so thank you very much Jan and if you ever see me at a show come and tap me on the shoulder because I owe you a beer at least um, so thank you very much for that. And the other one is the legend that is Alex Toon. Um, so again, it's got non-standard chrome mirrors on it. I don't particularly like them and I want it back to standard. So Alex Toon had some standard Austin Rover mirrors in black plastic that would have been fitted to this car as standard. So it's going to get them fitted back on there. So thank you very much, Alex. So before I waffle on too much, We'll cut to me cleaning the car in a moment and we'll go over some more details on the car. And uh, yeah, it's just good to be out in the garage. I've been doing nothing but video editing lately. And yeah, I've had probably a week off from that. And again, as I, I mentioned all the time, actually, you guys give me the motivation to get on with some of this stuff. So even this evening, I'm like, mm, do I start it tonight or do I do some other stuff? Procrastinating, playing on the PC and that sort of thing. But I thought, I've got no content, I need to get out there and I really do need to make a start on this car. So yeah, you guys give me the motivation, so thank you very much. I hope you enjoy this series. I'm not sure how many episodes it'll be over, but the, the, I think it's gonna last for six months, so it'll be over winter. And fingers crossed, first show will be Brooklands in March next year.
so I think what we'll do is just remind ourselves quickly of some bits that one doing on Project TARDIS, the Mayfair. So one part is a bonnet, it's hard to see, but there's a slight dent in the middle there. A slight dent here. It's actually a dent upwards where it looks like someone's shut something underneath the bonnet. Crease on the corner here. But this is the original bonnet, so we're going to do our best to save that. In fact, we are going to save it. Bit of a paint chip there. I think I can straighten out most of those dents. Next up is the wheels. I'm really not a fan of these wheel trims. Although they are original, that's what they come with. So we're going to refurbish the wheels and wheel trims. But I think, like I mentioned, I might do some tasteful mods. So it may get some mini light alloys. But I'm going to refer them anyway, so they can be swapped back at any stage. Bottom of the stills, just want cleaning up and painting. Like I mentioned before, they're in fantastic condition. Very slight bit of rust at the front there, but it's just surface rust. What amazes me about this car is it's had bare metal there for months. It was like they want to picked it up. I think there was a screw going through there, and some of the ground the head of the screw off to get the trim off, and they've left it as bare metal. What amazed me, it's not gone rusty. What that tells me is it's the car was built from good metal. If that was a MPI Mini, that would have rotted to pieces by now. Under the bonnet, it's manky looking, but it's completely original. But I think the engine and gearbox is going to come out, sound insulation, strip the bulkhead, the engine bay, strip it back, repaint it all, make it look nice. And the engine, I think I'll take the head off, convert it to unleaded. The gearbox works fine, so I think we'll do a parcel strip and just replace gaskets on it. The grill looks a bit manky. It's not rusty, a bit of surface rust, just starting to go. It's got a dent in this corner, so we need to straighten that grill off. You can't buy these grills anymore, so we need to repair that. And although it looks perfectly okay on film, it's been painted underneath the headlights here. It's not been painted because it's rusty, but there is some bodywork damage on this side. Bit of a dent below the headlight on the grill in there, and they've just made a poor job of repairing it. The paint's not that great, and it's a bit lumpy, so we're going to strip it down and paint it properly. The interior needs hardly anything, it just needs a bit of a clean. And when I say a clean, it doesn't want much at all really. A vacuum, a bit of upholstery cleaner, a bit of dash shine and it will look brilliant. Carpet's slightly discoloured in places, so we'll take the carpets out and wet back them before the winter. Get them dried up. And it's just things like the scratches on the paintwork inside on the top of the door frames but this interior is really really good it's like new a couple of bits i don't like i don't like these mirrors they're aftermarket mirrors they're quite nice but they're not original and i want it original and the fuel cap looks awful that's not original it's not nice <laughs> if i get down on my hands and knees the subframe is dented at the back so that's going to have to come out. It's actually dented downwards. It looked like something's caught on it. I don't know what they've done. They're sometimes dented upwards where people jack on them, but this is actually dented downwards, if you can see. And the paintwork in general, pretty good, although it is faded in places and really scratched up. Lots of swirl marks in it. The decals look original. So it just wants a really good careful bit of detailing there's some scratches scrapes there's some paint come off and i might touch these in a little bit but i don't want to respray the whole car i want to keep the paint original and i think it i think it will come back with a careful bit of detailing as you can see this top of the scuttles scuttle is a bit dull but yeah i want to avoid respraying it Once you respray it, it's not original paintwork. 
Oh, I don't know. So first job we're doing, or couple of jobs we're doing, we're going to take this number plate off. It's held in with bolts. That's going in the bin. That looks rubbish. It's cracked anyway, so that needs replacing. We're going to get this grill off and we need to do a bit of restoration work on this grill because they are hard to come by now. You can't buy a new replacement. I don't know whether there's any new old stock ones out there, but yeah, they're hard to come by. So <clears throat> we're gonna get this grill off. It looks like it needs a new mustache in this side because it's dented. And I think I explained it did have a bit of damage on this side of the car. So we'll probably have to get a new mustache end. Uh, again, there's a bit of dent on the bonnet finishing trim at the front there, so that won't replace them. But the actual grill itself, there's a bit of a dent in here which we need to straighten up. Uh, and then we're going to try and restore this grill. So the original finish, by the looks of it, would have been, it's like a satin matte black. Uh, same as the bumpers, so we need to try and straighten it out and achieve the same sort of finish. Right, so that's the first few hours in today, cleaning it and uh, stripping the front end. Quite pleased so far, uh, no nasty surprises. In fact, better than expected in a lot of cases. So this front end is definitely the original front end, but it has had some paint work. But same as the theme of the rest of the car, the metalwork is in remarkably good condition for its age. And what I'm pleased about as well, I don't know how well it picks up on this film, but obviously, like I say, it has been sprayed below the headlights all the way across the front end. They've done a horrible job of it because they didn't even take the indicators out, didn't take the headlamps out, didn't even take the bumper off. They just masked the bumper up. So really poor paint job. What I was worried about was that they'd filled this with a load of filler this side because it's quite wrinkly. You can see it's not perfect. Um, there's telltale mark there, there's a telltale mark in the grill and the moustache end as well where it has been hit on this side. The good bit is all these marks, I thought this might be full of filler but it's not. Basically what it looks like they've done when you look around the back, they've just hammered this out, I hammered it, ball peen hammer by the looks of it, just hammered it forward to get the dent out. They've gone a little bit too far and dented it back out this way, that's why it looks a bit rough. So that wants a bit of work with a hammer and dolly, um, bit of proper panel beating 
to get that back to how it should be. Um, there's a little bit of a crease down there. I'm sure I can work that though. Um, this side's spot on, but like I say, you can see again where they've just, they haven't taken the headlamps out. They've just masked around them. Um, but yeah, it is generally in pretty good condition. Bit of a repair on this side and jobs are good. And, and as you can see, you see a bit more of the engine now. Again, it looks fantastic. Just wants a very, very good cleanup. Right, so this is all our bits off. Again, no horrible surprises, pretty much as expected. There's a few bits we need to replace. Uh, this front bonnet trim, it's got a dent in it there. It's got a dent in the mustache, the grill end there. So we'll do all three of them because what happens if you do that one and that one, they'll look shinier than that one. So we'll do all the grill surrounds. Next thing I notice, so there is a dent in this grill here, but what really amazes me, so this is an original grill, how heavy it is. It is really, really heavy. The good thing is the bit that's dented, you can get to the back of it. And I mean, just look, I mean, that is the original grill, I think. So 34 years old. That ain't like one of those grills you pick up from a mini show that's rotted through within uh, 18 months. So, um, like I say, we're gonna key that up. We're gonna satin black it and we'll do the bumper at the same time. Again, I think this is the original bumper. I might be wrong. In fact, I'd be quite surprised if it is the original, but it's not a chrome one that's been painted by the looks of it. It was originally a black one. Although they might have just been chrome that's painted. I don't know. Um, everything else is fine. I've noticed there's a dent in the headlamp surround there before i replace that what i might do because they're not handed is swap <laughs> that side with that side uh this is the opposite way around that's going to confuse me anyway if i swap it side to side what it will mean is that dented bit will be on the inside so it'll be quite hard to see in fact that it might just be me. They might have done that already. Um, but I reckon I can probably get that dent out. But that dent actually probably goes with that dent, that dent, that dent there. So it's probably all the damage at the same time. But I might be able to salvage that. Everything else is fine. Uh, keys, I've just had a big sort out, thrown away about six keys. I do need, so this is the original ignition key. And it will have had a black plastic British Leyland um tag on that originally that's obviously broken that's no good that'll go in the bin but if anyone knows where i can get a uh, british Leyland blank key from i'll be able to get that cut key ring wise i've got my classic mini diy uh key ring thanks cole cole sent me that so that will go on project sprout i've got cooper key rings but it ain't a cooper so parts wise we need bonnet trims grill ends and a pair of number plates at the moment. I've got the mirrors off. This is the only bit I'm not happy about so far. So the mirrors, the fixings for them, they have unfortunately just drilled two new holes in the door. So they're the original fixings and the aftermarket ones they've drilled in the door, which is really disappointing. One, that's distorted the metal. And two, when, when you put the standard mirrors on, that hole will still be there. So. Don't quite know what I'm going to do then. I don't want to paint those doors unless I have to, which I don't think I do. Again, want to keep them original. So what I might do, ignore the uh, stereo. What I might do is buy a new pair of these mirrors. I think they're still available. So although I don't like them, they cover up that horrible bit in the door. Um, everything else, yeah, is all right. So. That's that for this week. We are, I guess that's about three or four hours in. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber and do all of that good stuff.